How's everybody doing out there? This is the real black effect. All right, so Kiki Palmer, she just recently was um, at a Usher scene at an Usher concert. Man, you see what she was wearing? <laughs> I mean, Kiki Palmer is a good looking woman. She's, I always thought Kiki Palmer was decent looking, but let's just be real. Like men, for the most part, they weren't really checking for Kiki Palmer like that. You know, the men in the industry, you heard the, the situation with her and Trey Songs. Like, Trey Songs basically tried to play her. And, you know, a lot of people just really weren't men, weren't checking for her, like, as in the in the industry. But now you have, and I don't know what was going on behind the scenes. Like, you know, I wasn't there. So you may have some dudes behind the scenes trying to, you know, who was trying to, to smash, man. But she didn't, you don't, you didn't see Kiki Palmer, like, you know, popping up with any of these prominent people you and i and a lot of that i was giving her kudos for you know i thought kiki palmer you know i think she's cut from a different cloth that's that's just me even from seeing you know from just seeing her character in the movie nope and the uh, you know how she can get her range as an actress like i think a lot of that comes from her personality you know i like her personality but with that being said what she did what I saw at that Usher concert, man, I, I think that was out of pocket. Just for me. That's me personally. And everybody can have their opinion. People today, you know, they get on the internet and they want to act like they can shut down your opinion. Like they want to act like one opinion is the, like it has to be, we have to agree with everything that they say or, or else we enemies, you know, you don't, you can agree and you can disagree amicably. We can do that. We can all agree to disagree peacefully. And, you know, and, and that's how the world works, especially when it comes to things like this. But, you know, we really want to get to the point where our morals <laughs> kind of align. Like that's the problem with people falling away from God in this, you know, in this world today. Morals, your, mor your morals are subjective, like and they're not aligning again, man. You got to understand how me and op women don't want to listen to how men operate. You know, they want to tell us uh, and demand everything that they want. You know, they very vocal on this Internet, man. And, you know, the Internet's not the real world. I'll say that again. If you really, you know, you should stop paying attention to if, as a man. You shouldn't pay attention to what women say. Not on the Internet. You're a man. You need to, you know. Be either learning from other men, sharpening iron on how to better your skill and craft, learning from God himself on your purpose, what your purpose is and moving like that. You what you listening to women for? You know, a lot of you men kill me who be on the Internet listening to women tell you about, you know, about men. But so with Kiki Palmer, this she was at a Usher concert, you know, and that's fine. You know, your husband a lot. She just recently had a baby. Let me let me get to that. I thought Kiki Palmer was was a lesbian. I, I don't know. I, I did. When she had played, she was in a film where she played a lesbian role. I thought Kiki Palmer was a literal lesbian. But OK, you know, I started to see her more and more. She was in Aquila the Bee. She's been in a lot of movies, you know, but she started to come into her own as a woman. Now, you know, she met a guy. She didn't. She she did a good job, like I said, of keeping herself from from being an industry pass around. You know, Trey Songs, you saw what happened with that with Trey Songs, they had something. I think she thought they were friends and you know, that went left. So now, you know, she met some guy. They had a baby. And what I don't get is that now that you didn't have this baby, why <laughs> now you acting like now you now you wanna act like you're gonna go live on the town and live now your life has just begun? No, you need to go take care of the baby. You know, and as far as with the, you know, going to the concert, that's fine. Your man lets you go. Like uh, Reva said, I was watching Reva video. You know, that's the truth. Your man lets you go there. So you go to the concert that he lets you go to. And I mean, you just like you dress scantily clad. Like that's not the outfit that you should put on to go to a, a Usher concert. Then you see the footage of when Usher got his shirt off. She looking all like Ugh. it's like all that fangirling. That fangirl and stuff is dead. Like, if you have a man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just think. Like, if your man, if the shoe was on the other foot 
And this dude was at an Ashante or a Nicki Minaj concert, and he was motorboating they booty. They, man, this dude would be, he'll be getting drug all up and down the, the internet. Like, he wouldn't have a good comment to his name. And that's the world today, man. You know, the double standard, the women can do no wrong. It's, that's very unfair, and that's very deranged. You know, a lot of people are becoming deranged and delusional. You know, because they just all on this women train. Like, you you don't understand. You under the spirit of Jezebel. All of you. All of you are under the Jezebel spirit. All of you. Every single one of you. You know, Ringo TV. Ringo has said this. You know, all you, a lot of you women, you know, even the ones who just be in the comments, y'all got the same spirit. Y'all got the Jezebel spirit. And it's sad. Like I said, even Kiki Palmer, even Kiki Palmer just uh, got some of got a taste of like a whiff of that Jezebel spirit. She got a whiff of that and embraced it. Like, you know, you got to you need to repent, Kiki. Repent for that because your man wasn't happy with it. You embarrassed his butt. That dude, if he hadn't have said nothing, he would have looked like an embarrassed cup because everybody I would have looked at that and been like, man, you know, Usher probably, you know, you know what I'm saying? That's what people will look at that and say. They look like they was about to kiss. The energy there between Usher and Kiki Palmer w was there. You understand? Like, and that's what I'm, you could tell she had a crush on, like, she probably been had a crush on Usher. That's probably been the case. And the fact that, you know, that when the guy, that you gonna give him all, you gonna be all up on him, hugging him, then turn around and show him your behind, because the suit, the, the outfit she had on basically had a behind out. And to show him your behind, that's like, you know, that's a total violation. They ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna shake your hands like, no, like, what are you doing? Like, you didn't have to show him. You didn't have to turn around. You didn't have to wear that. Like, you could have went to the concert, had you a good time, but you didn't have to wear that. And if that man had, like, just because that man stands up and says something about his woman, you know, his wife, baby mama, that's none of y'all business. You know, y'all should sit there. Y'all all gossiping and all in that man business. Leave him up, like, you know what I'm saying? That's between them. And he didn't have, a, he had a problem with it. So what? That's what he's supposed to do. If he didn't have a problem with it, you would have, people would have looked at him down the line. If he didn't have a problem with it, I would have looked at him like a totally, to like a total cuck, you know? Like, man, you just don't even, like, you just in the background, just, you know, you like basically like the woman in the relationship. You understand? She probably going all, she can sleep with Usher and you wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't even care. That's like that say something about the man. No, this is a man who got values and you know want to you know want to preserve his family and don't want him out there look. He want him represented a certain way. He want himself represented a certain way. He, he keep Palmer doing that. Basically, go out and be like, man, the man I'm with, you a punk. You ain't worth nothing. You know, it's the same thing I said with Charleston White, man. When you cheat on your wife, bro, and you in the public eye and you just cheat on her just blatantly, like boom, you make people look at her. And be like, you know, it don't matter what you say, but people have, they formulate their own opinion from what your actions are. They look at her and be like, man, your wife ain't hitting on nothing. You know, they like, and people be like, yeah, women be looking at her, clowning her. And you, you've opened her up for that. You know, it's the same thing with this man here. Like Kiki, you open your, you supposed to be the protector of your husband's peace. Not only are you supposed to protect him physically, you should protect his peace. You put you set him up to be, you know, to be looked at as some some type of punk or clown or, you know, Usher could just any celebrity could just come take my woman. You know, my woman is down for that. Like you, you set him up for that. So with that being said, man, look, I don't know why you people. I don't know why people will be under the comments having a problem with this. Like he didn't curse her. You know, she did this publicly. So he came out in the comments publicly to let y'all know, like Reva said, to go. Matter of fact, go check out Reva um, TV, man. You know, she does some good commentary. Um, I have to give her a props, though, on this story. Like I said, it was great commentary because this is the truth. This is how this is how women you in. Um, this is how real women react to this type of situation. They put each other in check. Real women check each other. You understand? So with that being said, hey, man, I, love, I still got love for Kiki. I still got love. And I think this just may be one of those learning points that, that, that she has to learn from. Like, tone it back a little bit. Tone it down some. 
you know so with that being said it's your man nico b the real black effect i'm gone